I welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to consider the concept of a sequence and series. So by definition, a sequence is um, a set of numbers generated, you know, using a particular rule or pattern or laws or a particular law, sorry. You know, so that the set of numbers that you generate using a particular law or a pattern or a rule is called a sequence. Now. Um, you can also say it's a succession of numbers generated by a certain rule or law. Now you can see an example here. So one, three, five, seven, they are generated. You know, the first one uh, is there is two added to the first one to give the second, the third, the fourth, and so on. That means the next term here should be nine. And after nine, I should have 11 and so on. Okay. <clears throat> and then here you are adding two also where the first term is two. And then here, look at this. This is a subtraction of four. So three minus four gives you minus one, minus four, minus five, minus four, minus nine. So the next should be minus 13 and so on. And then here, this is a multiplication of two. That's the rule. You're multiplying a term by two to get the next term. That means the next term here should be what? 48. The next should be 96 and so on. And then here you're dividing by two. So you add two here. So you divide by two, you get four, divide by two, two, divide by two, one, and so on. And then here, what is the rule here? The rule here is that uh, you multiply each term here by two and add one to get the next term. So you have one times two plus one will give you two. Two times two is four, then plus one will give you five. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 will give you 11, and so on. So that's what we mean by generating a sequence. A, a sequence That means a succession of numbers using a particular rule. Okay, now there are a few things to note. And what are they? Now, remark, numbers in a sequence. The numbers in a sequence are called terms. And we represent them with this. We denote them by Tn, where n stands for the number or the position of the term you're referring to. So, for example, in this place now, I can say that the T1 here, in the first example there, I can say that T1 is 1, and T2, meaning second term, is 3, T3, meaning third term, is uh, 5. That's in this example here, and then and so on and so forth. So that's uh, the first thing we would need to note. And then the second thing we need to note here in our remark is that uh, we have two types of sequence. And what are they? The first one is what we call the finite sequence. And what are finite sequences? These are sequences, you know, that have a finite number of terms. Okay, so when you can uh, when you can determine the number of terms in a sequence, you say that that sequence is finite. Example, for instance, if I have say three one uh, minus one minus three minus five, and I just stop here, this is a finite sequence. It means that you know the first term and you know the last term, so that's a finite sequence. So, but when you have the second one, which we call the infinite sequence, that means a sequence with uh, an infinite number of terms. That means you don't know the number of terms contained in that sequence. An example of that is all the examples I gave here. They are all infinite. One of the things that will help you know an infinite sequence is you have this sign there. So that means it continues. So all these sequences are infinite. Okay, so, and those are the examples. Okay, and then the next thing we need to note here is that, uh, remember that from this example here where you have T1, 2, 2, 3, T3, then we also have what we call the Tn. That means the, num the term that is not known. Or you can also refer to that as the last term, the term that is not known. I can say, that means T1, first term, T2, second term, T3, up to Tn, meaning to any other number of term at all, okay? So 
And then, so the next thing we want to consider is that often we represent the first term, that's T1 with A. And then we represent the last term, that's your Tn with L. So the last term is represented with L oftentimes, while the first term is represented with uh, A. Okay, so having said all of this, the next thing we want to look at now is how to determine the terms of a sequence when you are given a pattern. Let's just look at some examples here. So let's start with example one. This one says if the sequence find the sequence or you can say list the sequence. Okay, so what are you expected to do here? All you need to do here is uh, first of all find the first term then you find the second term, maybe up to fourth term, and then it will continue. So let's begin. So begin, being that we are giving Tn as 2n plus 3 raised to the power n minus 1, this means that our T1, it means anywhere we see n, we remove it and put 1. So our T1 is going to be 2 raised to the power 1 plus uh, 3 raised to the power 1 minus 1. And that's going to give you uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. So 3 raised to the power 0 is 1. So you're going to have 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And that is our first term. Okay, so what about the second term? So the second term, which is T2, is going to be 2 raised to the power 2 plus 3 raised to the power 2 minus 1. And that's going to give us 4 plus 3. 3 raised to the power 1. Is 3 and that is 7 and what about t3 and if you add this you are going to get 43 therefore our sequence is actually uh, 3 which is the first term here 3 minus sorry 3 comma 7 comma 17 43 and then and so on and so you can stop there. You can decide to get the fifth term or sixth term and so on. So we're going to look at the second example now. Okay, so solution. How do we go about this? Now to be able to solve this, it's also very simple. The first three terms means that we are looking for T1, T2, and T3. And so our T1 is going to be 1 here simply means that you're replacing N here with one and so anywhere you see n in the other side you also replace it with one and so we are going to have our t1 to be minus 3 raised to power 2 times 1 and that's going to give us minus 3 raised to power 2 which is equal to 9 and then our t2 is going to be minus 3 raised to power 2 times 2 and that's equal to minus 3 raised to power 4 and minus 3 raised to power 4 is the uh, 81 and finally our t3 is equal to minus 3 raised to power 2 times 3 and um, that is equal to minus 3 raised to power 6 which is equal to 2187 okay and so these are the three terms the first three terms we are required to find so the next example Okay, so it says that if we are given a sequence Tn equal to this, that we should find the value of D, that's this D, assuming T10 is equal to 20. So what does that mean? It means that uh, we are given that Tn is equal to 2 plus N minus 1 times D. And so if our T10, meaning in this case our N is equal to 10, so if you put n into this, you are going to have uh, 2 plus uh, n is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9d. Okay, now but they said that this uh, t10 is equal to 20. So that means we have 2 plus 9d equal to 20. And if you solve this, 9d will be equal to 18. And when you divide both sides by 9, you will get that d is equal to 2. 
okay and that's the solution and uh, that's uh, how to handle issues on sequence so you can see that all of the sequence that we have been looking at here are, are all generated you know by uh, a particular pattern and with that pattern you can solve for any particular uh, term in that sequence and that helps you to you know go around to find like for in this example we can decide to find a hundred term like this one um, is the tenth term we can try to find any number of term at all okay so this is where we're going to stop for this video in a subsequent video we are going to look at the arithmetic the different types of sequences we have have what we call the arithmetic uh, sequence or progression the geometric progression and the rest of that all right so please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and we'll see you in our next video bye